So we have remove. So we need to remove the things that are um, affecting the gut, such as the inflammatory foods, but then also any infections that they have. Okay. And then we need to restore the environment. And then we need to re-inoculate. So we need to put some good probiotics back in there. And then we need to repair the gut lining. So those are the four R's, remove, restore, re-inoculate and repair. Mm. Yeah. I like it. I like it. So interesting. Yeah, can we, can we I'll camp up on this for a little while here? Uh, because I'm a big proponent of probiotics and I've seen the, the difference they make in, in my practice as well. You want to talk about that? Do you use probiotics or is it strictly from the foods? Um, yeah, I mean, you can use fermented foods. And that's a great way for people who don't have access to buy probiotics, you can basically make your own by fermenting things like um, cabbage or what, what are some popular fermented foods that you have in Nigeria, Dr. David? Uh, it's, it's the only one I can think of is the milk, milk-like ones. Uh, that is a no-no for, uh, for, um, for children with autism. I don't think we do much of fermented stuff in, in Nigeria much at all, but like I said, it's, it's mainly the, the milk containing. So like uh, yogurt and kefir, stuff like that. You know, you can ferment breast milk. You can just take, you, so the mom could, could express her breast milk, okay? And she could make yogurt out of it, basically, breast milk yogurt. That would be so good, so amazing for her child. That's going to be a bit of a stretch, though, except that's only if she's had another child. Uh, well, no, if you keep the milk supply going. I breastfed James for a long time. Now, that might be part of why he recovered, too. I don't know. But oh, if you, before. till he was four. No way, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I mean, really, if you think about the biology of it, you're supposed to keep breastfeeding your child until they lose their milk teeth, right? Until they lose their front teeth. Wow. Oh, so, man. so if they just, you know, somehow find a way to keep expressing their milk, if, if you have access to a breast pump, that's the easiest way, but it is possible to hand express milk and then ferment it. You know, using some sort of starter culture would be great. Um, if you can at least get your hands on a bottle of, or even a single probiotic pill, that is the type of probiotics that you want, maybe like some bifidobacteria would be great. You can use that as starter culture and then just keep it going if you know how to make yogurt. Hey, 